perfect. Hello, hello, my name is Nick, aka Grizzly Mantis, and we are back in Standard for one of my favorite cards, old Nivy Mizzy Rebizzy. I mean, if you haven't seen this, you live in a box. 665 Flyer enters the battlefield, reveal the top 10 for each color pair. Goes into your hand, so pretty nice little card advantage in a 6 6 body. Now, that rainbow color can be a little tedious. The Manda base definitely reflects an attempt at something. <laughs> definitely an attempt at something here. It's pretty interesting. And one of each basic for the Fabled Passage. Uh, but let's look at the rest of the deck. Now I am running, I am going to do the Fae of Wishes thing. I wasn't originally going to do it, but figure if I'm going to be best of wanting it to see how it does before siding, then let's see how it does. So with our Fae of Wishes, we have pretty standard collection of useful things. Still don't know about Thought Distortion, but we'll see. Ethereal Absolution, Casualties of War. I got all the ultimatums because we <laughs> Why not, right? Why not just have all the ultimatums? Then Hila has Intervention. Intervention is probably the worst of this bunch. I could probably get rid of it, but it feels semi-useful. Or if I just for some reason can't afford Ruinous Ultimatum, who knows? Who knows? But aside from that, let's go over this real quickly. So I am using Gigantha, the Wellspring, as my companion because, I mean, why not? A, we meet the criteria. The only thing we have to really give up is uh, Casualties of War, but then we just move it to the Wish Board. Other than that... Taps for just the right amount of mana. Uh, helps us to activate Golos later in the game. For Niv Mizzy, the entire pack. I mean, if you're going to. When you're looking at your lists, if you see an opportunity to just put a companion there, this one synergizes, but even if it doesn't, just do it. Just having a free eighth card in your hand and for the entire game, it's just worth it. Even even a 5 5 5. I mean, you know, it's no. Uh, holy cow, I just had it and there it went. <laughs> oh boy. Reality Smasher. It's no Reality Smasher as far as 5-5 five, five, fives go, but it ain't bad, you know? It ain't bad at all. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Okay. Let's look at the rest of the deck. So in our Rakdos slot, we got Anagrath's Rampage. We got a full set of Gross Spiral, full set of... Ooh, well, not a full set. I only have three Uros. That's interesting. I thought I had four. Well, that's right. I cut the fourth one for a Knight of Autumn. Knight of Autumn's just a pretty good card right now. The fact that it hits our Celestia peg, meh, not the worst. Full set of the Time Raveler, because why not? This card's amazing. Uh, I only have two Oath of Kaya. I should. Now yeah, we'll see how it goes, but two Oath of Kaya to fill our Orsoff slot. Not to mention, just an amazing card in general. Full set of Deafening Clarion, since A, we have a Boreal slot to hit, and B, it's one of the best removal in the format. Uh, I got a pair of Atris in here. Not only does it hit our Jameer slot, but it also helps recoup card advantage. I like the idea of going like Fires, Atris, I draw the best card of the box, or just draw two cards, then have a body on the board. I got a Vraska for our Golgari slot. Again, just dealing with permanence. Unfortunately, it doesn't do anything about the opposing fires. That's one thing we should, we're going to have to be aware of, is fires on the other side. All we have right now is Knight of Autumn. And then a pair of Golos. Just be able to A, mana fix, and B, go nutty in the late game. And of course, Nivy Mizzy busy. So that is the deck. Nothing too crazy here. I may try something else. If I ditch the wish board... If I ditch the wish board, I may go with a different companion. I may go Yorion, but it seems like everyone's doing Yorion, which is uh, fair because Yorion is the best companion. But for now, we're just going to go like this. So let's see how it does. <laughs> Mad zombies. All right, all right. Quick little update here. I was in the middle of playing against a Jiruta list, and... Uh, yeah, okay. And uh, I realized I'd forgotten to put Graph Digger's Cage in my board. So you can imagine that was a little awkward. Uh... Yes, get that green mana. Nope, that's at the green mana. Thank you. A little awkward, you know? Just a little bit, a bit. So, definitely took out the Heliad's intervention for uh, Improbable Alliance. I like you where this is going. Yeah, I'm just going to continue on my thing. Cycling deck. Hmm. <sighs> Valiant Rescuer, sure. That's all he's got. That seems worthy. Uh, I need black mana. Oh, no, the Kaya. So next turn, we go Fires of Invention into Atris. Opponent seems to be stuck on two lands. He can just start cycling things and making fairies, so it's not like he's completely out of this. No, no, three lands it is. 
chess guy, so we just gotta watch out for that uh, zenith flare because it is a thing. Yep. Might just have to go fires into clarion then. Yep. Ow. Yes. All right. So black. So there's that. So green. Green black. So something that's not. I'll go with a. Let's go to the mountain. Why not? We can grab the mountain. Get ourselves some fires of invention, and uh, we'll save. Uh, we'll save Atrus for next turn, or we'll just go Golos Atrus. Either way. Still a twenty. That feels good. Dang it. Well, at least it's just the life link one. Well, not the life link. The gain life one. Yep. Yeah, so go los into Atris, and then we go nuts. Time Raveler. Hmm. Let's see what? Let's play it for free first. Let's see what we get. Maybe our opponent thinks we're missing a land drop. Okay, five, six, and then if we draw another one, we have seven, or we play Jangatha. Jangantha! Giganta. The N is after. Ooh, that's a tough one. I think I'm just always going to choose Nibby Mizzy Rubizzy. It's very difficult not to. Yes. Very good. Okay, well, that's spell number one. Uh, I guess we'll just go ahead and let's refill our hand. <sighs> what do we got? Hmm. Let's take the euro. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, got the Vraska for the Improbable Alliance, the Deafening Clarion for the wipe. And Golos on the back burner, baby. Everything's coming up, Grizzly. Yeah. Show me what you got. I want to see what you got. Do you have Menace? Menace is pretty cool. Yep. 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 Nice. Nice. He knows I have the Deafening Clarion, so let's see what he does here. Building up to a zenith flare, it would seem. It's gonna take more than that, sir. Here we go. All right, so let's make sure we click both. There's a chance this might kill our Nivy Mizzy, but that's okay. They kill Nivy Mizzy, we got backup plans. Whole lot of backup plans. Poof. Got two spells to play, huh? Yep. Start off with an attack, see what he does. Yep. There's number one. There's number two. Yep, going to chump block. I wonder if he's got like a shock to go with it. What a beating that would be, huh? Yep, pow. Up to 26. Got to do as much as we can to stay away from that zenith. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah, let's go for Esco. Well, I'll try to go Golos. Doop, doop. Another one, another one. Not making our land drops, unfortunately. So maybe instead of. Yeah, we'll just go for Asco. Get rid of the alliance. Mm hmm. You got it. Yeah, missing the land drops is rough, but. Gotta take his engine offline. Then all he's left with is. Oh no! Zenith Flare! Ouch. Hmm. Battlefield tapped. Super lame. Just go get uh, uh let's source of black. Yes please. Is that our only one? The other one. Black, green, white. Yeah, some kind of source of black and green would work. Now, what do I want to do with the rest of all my fun? 
because we could just go Shigatha for free and start playing stuff. Yeah, I like this plan. Okay, so. Hmm. Yeah, let's go Hs. Yeah, the Atris, draw some cards, do some junk. And the next turn we go ham. Uh, two lands, or I'll take the two lands. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky opponent. Yep, yep, those are cards. Those are all cards. They all do stuff. Spin the Golos or just attack? Why can't you have Vigilance? You'd be much better with Vigilance. <laughs> yeah. Got 11 damage coming through. Euro. Time Reveler. Bounce Oath. Yeah, plays. We got plays, that's for sure. 27 all though that's pretty cool oh no why would you do such a thing okay well i suppose i say i suppose we could go ham but mm. yeah it's fine start with the euro triome hmm I want to spin it or do we want to attack? I feel like I want to attack here. So let's get in there. Second main, what do we want to do? Here we go, Time Raveler. Bounce the Oath of Kaya. Draw something, play a land, and pass. All right, I got another 25. Uh oh, I smell a lure us into a two drop. Nope, stinger. Hmm, something for my oath to hit. Double stinger. Ew. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, play the island. Hmm. It's probably it'll just cause a scoop, but we'll see. Beep, boop. Cycle response, ping us for two. We say okay. Yep. Ow, ow. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Pew, pew, pew. Bye, Atris. I do like you, even though I keep killing you. You yeah, know, I do like you. I would spin the Golos, but I think I'd rather just do this. <laughs> this is what we're here to do. All right, a Grow Spiral. Nice. I drew a Grow Spiral. I guess that was a punishment, huh? Nice. All right. Well, let's end the turn. <laughs> Gross spiral. <laughs> well, on one hand, okay. But on the other hand, yeah, okay. Share a valiant rescuer. What do you got for me? Flourishing fox. Hmm. One card left in hand. I'll say okay. See if we can time this because if he cycles now with the triggers on the stack, we're gonna go ahead and target player sacrifices a creature. I think that's rampage him. Might get rid of the fox, but with the cycler in hand, there was no better way to do it. <sighs> Bye, fox. <laughs> yep, got it. Draws a card. Yippers. Start there. And forced. I should go with the swamp, but oh well. Oath of Kaya the Rescuer. Yep. 
You've got it. I'm just gonna resolve all on this one. Hmm. Let's zero. Let's see what else we got going on. One, two, three, four, five. All right, Euro's coming back to play. Let's go get a swamp. And then let's just go to attack here. I've been using the Golos of the Jingata. We're usually literally using them as bodies. Maybe that's what they intended, right? All right. I guess in, but I don't think I'm gonna see any real other things to do with this. So let's just make it big and try to kill him next turn. Yeah, that's it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Fair enough, fair enough. All right, I'm on the play this time. Uh, yeah, it's not the worst missing mana, but we can do it. Yo, Ryan. I'll think about more and more. I think I might just, this video might be half Lures, half, or half Tengatha, half Yo, Ryan. All right, let's just go. Breeding pool, do life. I might as well just do it now, just in case. Go. Cool. Still missing some key cards here, but... Oh, well. We got four colors. Just need that other one. Temple of Enlightenment. Ah, interesting. Still not exactly what I'm looking for. Ah, uh, well. Yeah, let's go Euro. Draw a card. Play Breeding Pool. Interstabbed. Play the planes. Pass a turn. So next turn we can go Jenganda. Hope it either survives or resolves. Oh no! Why would you do this to me? Yeah, great. Hmm. Shadow of the sky. Fantastic. Well, in that case, let's just go those. <laughs> All right. So what do I need? Red, green, blue, white. Yes, please. Let's get a trial that makes black. Preferably black and off stuff. There we go. Sure. Is that the shadow of the sky ready? <clears throat> Luca. Ooh, baby. This is interesting. I like where this is going. Yeah, that's a Golos. Fires of invention. Ooh. Aren't we a pretty girl? I'm say you gotta shatter, otherwise I just kill your Narset. We are here to do something, and I think it is time we do it. That's a little unfortunate, but that's okay. <laughs> gotta wait and do the Ghost Battle during his turn, obviously because of Narset. We don't want our draw to get taken out. But now we're sitting on a big old Navy Mizzy. Hmm. We can Oath of Kaya the Narset next turn and attack. What's this guy do? You control. Okay. You may cast this card. Damn, I'm reading that. You may cast this card from exile as long as you control Luca Planeswalker. That's pretty sweet with Fire's Invention. Oh, Fire's Luca. It's got to happen now. I got to do it next. Fire's Luca. The Time Reveler. I better do it now. Yep, Time Raveler, my very own. Bounce the Niv Mizzy. Can't say I'm upset about that. Okay, what else you got for me? A ways away from. Well, we are black. Yeah, we are a ways away from. Oh boy. Hmm. Interesting. Bringing it back full power. Okay. Well. Hmm. This is interesting. I can't play cards during my turn. I'm trying to think. I'm kind of looking for that fires. So what's the best way to find it? It's not Nibby Mizzy. We only we don't get to draw any cards this turn. 
I can shoot Narset with Oath of Kaya, but that does not a lot. Of. We could go Golos, get a land. Could just go Nivy Mizzy. Then we have nothing left after that. What's the best route here? Probably Atris. See what we draw. Let's start with Atris. So we can Oath of Kaya the uh, Narset. Not play the land yet, so consider that with piles. Hmm, what do you got for me? Show me what you got, opponent. Did you leave me up in the black? No, it's not. That's right, I only have one source of black. Oh boy. The only other source I've got is. Six. Yeah. Play land for turn, discard a land, or just take the pile. Hmm. It's usually two lands versus something clever. I need black mana, so I guess I have to choose the black mana. <laughs> against a euro oh opponent what's this one what did it leave me open oh, crap yeah and we need this and i believe we need to move to our end of turn it's unfortunate eh, no i guess might as well hey, you can't do anything during our turn um it's gonna brick me on the draw but we might as well just kill one of those spells Works on the draw, perfect, and that's all for me. Atris, unless he does something. I was gonna say, I did just give him the ability to, oh, a shark typhoon, eh? Hey, you mean my definite clarion's actually gonna do something? Awfully sporting of you. Could have bounced the Orion, but I didn't like the idea of uh, the Narset getting reset over and over and over. All right, so next turn's looking like Deafening Clarion. Well, Atris attacks something. Menace is pretty good. Yeah, that's Atris. Can't do it. I can't block. Not even if I want to. Nope. Ow, ow. Bye, Tefari. You did something. That's better than nothing. What else you got? There's the fires, and what's your other spell? Sure. Something crazy is about to happen. That I can guarantee ya. Mm-hmm. Uh, what are the odds? Let's see what else he's got. Took the Atris. Cool story, bruh. Okay. Well, then. I suppose, I say I suppose, we should just follow the plan. Boop. Boop. Pew. I was going to Euro, but... Actually, doesn't do anything, so I guess I shouldn't have played that untapped. Oh, well, maybe I had to. Hmm, he still got all the planeswalkers in the world, so not much going on there. Uh, can't fay. I mean, we can fay of wishes next turn for the Elder spell, I suppose. Kind of wish I had something to put it on, but I don't. So, yeah, I don't have to wait. Yep. <sighs> Auto pass for me, Mr. Time Reveler. I appreciate it. This one's not looking amazing, but, like I said, Fave wishes into the Elder spell. Uh-oh. There it is. He's just going to shark mode. Hmm. Not my Fave wishes are going to have to do, like, all the work in the world. Yeah, Narshat makes a 3-3. Not bad. Birth of Melodon, okay. That's two spells, so I believe we're done, sir. But I could be wrong. Gotta activate some planeswalkers. <sighs> I don't think you can color screw me. Multiple sources of black, multiple sources of everything. So, Agent of Treachery impact will be minimal. We'll still be able to Niv Mizzy. If he doesn't Agent of Treachery, then we'll be able to Niv Mizzy and Golos. Ah, very good. Never mind the restriction. 
Yippers, yippers, it's going all in. Mm -hmm. So one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three left. What do you hit? Oh, I missed it. Oh, he just exiled the top three and didn't hit any creatures. <laughs> It's just creatures, right? Yes. <laughs> Anything else, sir? Anything at all? Okay. So now he's representing counterspell mana. Do I still want to follow that plan of Fae of Witches into Elder Spell? I kind of feel like I have to here. He didn't replay. Well, he couldn't replay the fires. We're going to take a beating as we do this. But it still feels semi necessary. Yeah, let's do it. That one, that one, that one. Poof. Rawr. It is nice, isn't it? Uh, let's go Elder Spell. Well, no, not Elder Spell. Let's go Atris. Grow Spiral, Grow Spiral. Golos, and I suppose the Time Raveler. Okay, got a Euro coming back. Start offsetting the life loss of these shark attacks. Safety Foundry tapped. And we still have Niv-Mizzy to reload next turn. So here we go. Yep. Fires of Invention returns. Mm hmm. Nice. Okay, now we may have to pay. Bounce, recast, go get. <sighs> yep, we are. Do we have the mana to do this? So, four. Nebraska. Okay, well, let's try this again, shall we? All right, so we got two, four, six, seven, eight, eleven. So, six and four, but we need black, black, white, white. Black, black, white, white. All right, so just gotta make sure none of that stuff gets touched. Black, black, white, white. Okay, so let's just do this, just to be safe. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, wait. One, two, three, four. Oh, we are one short, aren't we? So I guess. Back up plan time. Sure. Well, that takes care of a lot of things, but not everything. But a lot of things. Otherwise, we, we can't quite go Euro yet. So I guess what we will do is we'll take a Euro hit. Pow. All right. All right, so we're gonna have to block with our. We have to block our own hero. We're at ten. Oh boy. Ugh, cripes. Okay. Well, no one has trampled, so we're still alive. The plan still stays as long as this Fae of Wishes survives. Oh wait, it can't survive because that's lethal. Ooh, awkward. Yeah, I don't care about Narset. Uh. Oh, could we have navigated? Yeah, or one short. Miscounted there. Yeah, it's a shark typhoon. Jeez. So he literally has no creatures other than Agent of Treachery? I like it. I like it. Hmm. What else can we do here? Okay. Just give all of these guys lifelink because. Well, we can survive. That's something, right? Because luckily, our Euro does not trample. Hmm. Now, having survived, what else can we do? <laughs> I mean, we could... Time Raveler, bounce the Nibby Mizzy. Time Raveler, bounce the Euro. Uh, Vraska, now, now. Start off with Atris, now. Well, if we Atris into... 
Three, six, seven. Nope, we don't have enough to Atrus into our. Uh, hmm. Oh boy. I don't know if there's an option here. We need a board wipe, and they're all on the board, and we just lost our Fey of Wishes. Well, tell you what. Let's start with the Time Raveler. Can't play spells during my turn. Why well, you gotta think about it? Bounce the Navy Mizzy back to our hand. There he is. Play said Nivy Mizzy. Got three lands left. One of them make black, it does. Oath of Kaya is still on the table, though I am at one. Why? Let's see what we find. Cards I got left? 29. Some good stuff, but not enough. Oh well. Alright, that was sweet. I might just have to build that deck next. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. So, I went and did a quick redo real quick. Uh, I <laughs> I wanted to add more cards. Jengatha was... Jagentha was just not cutting it. Wasn't having as much fun with that. So, I said, you know what? Screw it. We're going to go Yo Ryan for the rest of this Nibby Mizzy video. Uh, we're going to keep a lot of things the same. I just jammed in more good cards. Since I did get rid of the Wish package, since it seems too slow. Jammed in all the Casualties of War. Uh, threw in a Tamiyo, kept the Solar Blaze. I upped the Atris since we're going to Orion. I figured max, nearly max out the Atris, max out the Oath of Kaya, tried to maximize that effect, uh, kept the Angrath Rampage. And I did do Thought Erasure, not only for the Dramir slot, but just an amazing card. And then as far as the mana base goes, threw in a bunch more black, upped a lot of the triumphs and the fabled passages i think that was already at four but now there's four just to be safe actually it might have been at two it doesn't matter now it's at four so here we are we're doing it let's hop back in see if this works better than the previous iteration all right well on the play and i think we're starting off with our first mulligan all right that's better hmm white red green i can cast anything so we're definitely keeping but what's going away here yeah. Is it sad that it has to probably be Nibby Mizzy? What's our opponent got? Oh, another Yorion. Ah, interesting. Yeah. I hate to say it, but I think I'm going to keep things I can cast for now. So, uh, let's go here. Play tapped. I guess it doesn't matter which one I did. Like I can't even cast the Othakai, but it doesn't matter. I can cast the two most important spells in my hand, so we'll go with there. Ah, there we go. Try home number two. Move it on. Ooh, opponent's doing something spicy, too. We're a mirror match for all we know. Holy cow, maybe we are. All right. Play two life. Let's play the time Raveler and plus. Save the card draw for next turn, see if we can hit a land. Did not... Let's just start off here, save the card draw for when we need it. And we're not doing anything, so we'll just pass. Save this for potentially instant speed, deafening clarion, although I'm not sure what my opponent's up to here. Yo, Ryan, uh, what's your particular? Um, wilderness Reclamation? Ooh. Great token of turret permanent. Nice. Got it. That is pretty sweet. I never realized it said permanent this entire time. I thought it said creature. Oh, that's annoying. Can I target it? Nope. I'm just kidding. I'm just trying to hit that land. Hey, there's that solar blaze. Hmm. I think I am just going to go ahead and play the second time Raveler. Try to draw this land. I really don't want to miss a land drop right now. It's annoying as it is. Come on. There we go. Perfect. All right, now we're set up for our next turns. Golos were a ways away, unfortunately, from Casualties of War. We got Sweepers up the wazoo, though. Yep. And we're just drawing cards. Now we can Oath Akai that bad boy if we need to. <sighs> That's pretty cool looking. I like that it's a, it's a copy. It's a creature it fights. That is so cool. I never realized. Maybe it should be in here. No, not in here. Maybe we should make a deck around that. It's all right. Permanent. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, 
fair enough. I personally would save it for the Nibby Mizzy, but I can I can <coughs> I can dig it either way. All right, so let's see. Here's a black. So we need another black to get the Casualties of War going. That's what we want. So unless we draw something amazing, I think I'm just gonna go los. Find, yeah, could kill it. Now, now we're just gonna start setting up for that. So, into there, plus there. Go Golos, boom. Let's go grab. Oh yes, please. Oh, something that makes black. And what other useful colors do we need? Hey, do the battlefield. No, what is going on here? Okay. So we got green, green. So we just need black. So whatever the most useful black is. Plenty of red, so yeah, go with that one. That was a pretty useful one. Okay, here we are. Let's see if we can start casualties of warring our opponent next turn. We go after the Vantress, Castle Vantress, Time Raveler. I would like to hit the Triome, but this Castle Vantress is about to come online. We can hit the Triome with the next one. Yep. If he passes, can't imagine he will. Ah, birth. Setting up for it. Hey, I like hitting enchantments too. Boop. Yep. All right. Sweet. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go. Casualties of War. Uh, I think it's everything but creature. Nope. Everything but creature. Target and artifact. Nope. <laughs> That's right. The artifact doesn't come until next turn. All right, so target a land. How about that one? Target a planeswalker. How about that one? Boom. Oh, casualties of war. You never stop being fun. What response is it giving him? I don't understand, but that's okay. Pow. Next turn. Oh, wait and see what he does. If he just throws out the Orion. Ooh, Elspeth conquers death. Interesting. Well, looks like we got another casualties of war coming. You got it. Hmm. Gotta get rid of the Elspeth conquers death, unfortunately. It's just a land and enchantment. It's kind of annoying. Uh, play this bad boy tapped, and that's all for us. And that's the way it goes. Okay. Another Elspeth Conquers death. Nothing to bring back, though. All right. That seems reasonable, right? <laughs> Nivy Mizzy, Ribizzy, ooh. And I can cast it? Well, hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. What else am I getting? A Tamio? Nice. Oh, that's it. Okay. Yeah, sure. Gulp. What you got? Show me what you got. What? Got a blue. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. That's annoying. Well, I guess we'll do the... They got the agent. The Luca is going to be a fun one. Yep. That's good to me. Jeez. We can Time Raveler, bounce it. And just replay it, draw a bunch more cards. I'm okay with that. See what he does with his power. Smart thing would probably just be the Yo Ryan, right? What does Tamio do for us? Casualties of War? Yes. Yes. I'm thinking yes. Just the Orion, Black the Elspeth. If he doesn't, what's our plan for it? Just Time Raveler and attack for six? Yeah, probably. Yep. What's he going to do with it? Don't bounce the Elspeth Conqueror's death. Bounce the Nivy Mizzy. Even better. Now the Elspeth Conqueror's death gets back Agent of Treachery, but all it can take is a land. Hmm. 
Interesting. There's the other Nivy Mizzy. So what do we want to do this turn? We kind of need to not let this do something other than take a land. I don't want to commit anything else to the board just yet. So this costs five. Jeez. I suppose we can wait till next turn. Yeah, let's start with the Euro. See what we find. We hit a land. We get Solar Blaze. We don't. Meh. Maybe we'll hit something better. Did I say Solar Blaze? I meant <laughs> both of Gaia. Poof. Kill the Time Raveler. If he brings it back, cool. Better than Agent of Treachery, I suppose. Might have been better to recommit the Nivy Mizzy, but my hand is, yeah, go for it. I will take your land. <laughs> sure. That's all you got to steal. I'm okay with it. Let me guess, my only source of white? Nope. Oh. Hmm. I wonder why you take that over a triome. I mean, just. You know, the triumphs are pretty much that plus something else. This does beat my super secret solar blaze tech, though, unfortunately. The good news is, Luca. Oh, it's Orion. Okay. Alright, so, four. Can he cut us off of everything? Oh, he can. He can cut us off from white. Oh, that's aggravating. We need double white, too. Oh, he let us keep our white, but we need double white. Well, there it is, but that's next turn. So what are we going to do this turn? Well, some solar blaze plus deafening clearing can wipe his board next turn. Yeah, just play the dragon. Play the background. Poof. See what we get. Give me some goods. Fable passage, yeah. Oh, Agent of Treachery. Never stop being fun. Hmm, not much. Ingress Rampage. Or I guess I'll take the Euro. Okay, makes a 1-1 one, one shark. Sure. Interesting. Oh, because it's going to be another Agent of Treachery. Pretty good. Well, Fires of Invention. Just why not, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, very good. Mm-hmm. Bye, Shark. Hi, Agent. Am I just the same dude I just played? Well, the good news is my plan still works against his board. The bad news, however, is I, besides that, I mean, well, we take care of this. All we have to deal with is a blast zone, so it should be fine. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, that's right. He draws cards. I always forget about that. So he has a new hand, too. Well, that's just fantastic. All right, so is this going to work like I want it to? Oh, now I only have a single red because he took my other red. Oh, so it doesn't work either way. Well, fantastic. So I can kill my own Nivy Mizzy and that's it? Okay. So any number of other non opponents you own and control. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Yeah, let's scoop it. Man, Army of Agent of Treacheries is just the bane of our existence. But okay. Aber. Okay, opponent goes first. We are going to mulligan off to a grand start. Mulligan. Okay, this is decent. Go get an island. It is slow. I'm gonna put the go those to the bottom. Yeah. So it's playing the ramp plan, I suppose. Super slow. 
super super slow super 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 slow hmm hmm mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. there we go why not next turn we can go spiral into stuff i mean we have a plan now if we draw an on top land we'll euro if we don't we gotta grow spiral Ooh, chandra acolyte of flame spice what is this ah hmm interesting oh yeah stick to the plan bloop 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 <laughs> I was so used to clicking on this side to not cycle the land. Oof. Oof. It's been one of those days. Alright, now here come the beats. Oh boy. What a way to end, right? What a way to end. I'm gonna guess double agent of treachery just to make our life fun. Fantastic. Love it. Love it. Okay, well, right, let's try to end on a good note. Oh. <laughs> Are you tired of playing, Niv? Are you tired? Are you just done with this? Are you over it? I, I'm getting this strange vibe that my deck does not want to play anymore. Now we'll mulligan. Okay, I guess we'll keep and uh... <sighs> well... It's either Breeding Pool or one of our Tri-Lands. I guess Tri-Land? Because then I can go get one, two, or we can go Gross Spiral or... Okay. We're on the draw. Oh, f fires. Okay. And Sphinx of Forza. Yay! See what he does. Now well, we have the thought erasure, so that's nice. We'll at least hopefully be able to nix the fires, but we'll see. Two top, one bottom. Must be the perfect mix here. Sacred Foundry. Well, that'll be nice someday. I'll play that guy tapped and pass it back. You know exactly how to do anything this turn. So I guess we'll just go ahead and take this thought erasure right about now. Huh. Well, I don't care about that. I think I can deal with that. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. Maybe this is why I'm here, right? So he's just going with. Hmm. Alright, well. Start here. Better now tap, play the fable passage, and pass. It's green, blue, either white or black, so this has got to be for red. See if he ripped it. He did not. Let's go get a mountain. Boop. Okay. Only two lands away. Not helpful. All right, Eero, give us some love here, por favor. Or not. Fantastic, man. I get this odd feeling our deck does not want to play magic anymore. The magic gods are not smiling upon us at this point. I mean, really? <laughs> uh, yep, yeah, yeah. Well, we will continue on. I mean. Solar Blaze is still out there, waiting to do its thing. Maybe this will be the time it does. Just go fires into Karuga. Fires into Karuga would be pretty darn good. Oh look, it's Karuga. Go. Yep, ow. Rip. Breeding pool. That does not help anything, does it? Let's see, I could bounce the Sphinx of Foresight. Yeah, I suppose I shall. Takes one more damage, but at the same time, I'd rather get rid of that. Draw something that is not that. Okay. Well, we are, awkwardly enough, still one mana away from casting Niv Mizzy. We cannot cast Casualties of War. There's a Kenrith. Solar Blaze, homie, where are you? Oh, boy. Solar Blaze off the top. How many times have I got to say that? Maybe I should have put more in. Jeez. 
Yep, sure. Donuts for donuts. Hmm. So we're dead next turn. Oh, that's just mocking us. Hmm. Well, not dead dead. Just only mostly dead. So I am cut off from my triome. Can I survive? Well, this has got to get played no matter what. It still doesn't do anything for us next turn. <laughs> Oh, so do I Knight of Autumn or do I just Tyrant Scorn the Kenrith in combat? Because he's probably just going to replay this, give everyone haste, and then just come at me. So I could bounce it in combat, but then I'm literally doing nothing else. Well, it's one more turn to find uh, Solar Blaze. <laughs> Savior, Solar Blaze. Wow, this is oof, oof. Yeah, yeah. It does feel like the big thing about Navy Mizzy is that it still feels like we're playing fair. This is a fair deck. And in a world of unfair cards, the fair deck is just not where you want to be. Let's go play something unfair after this. Sure, so I'm going to take nine and then maybe rip Solar Blaze, maybe not. Oh, that's right. I was supposed to bounce that in response. Pfft, I'm already thinking about my next crap. Hi, Kenrith. Hi, Kenrith. So yeah, I should have bounced the Kenra Earth in response to the Sphinx, so it didn't get haste. But then I'd go to seven; it wouldn't change the clock, so I'm not really that concerned. Material Absolution. Don't even have white mana. Well, all right, Euro. <laughs> it's up to us. Even though the Kenra is still there. Rip. Ah. Uh. Can I do anything with this mana? Let's see, green. Well, actually, not this turn, but it does give us the ability to do something else. Now, what do I want to do here? So we just give the plus plus plus. Yeah. Does that still kill me? Yeah, probably. Oh yeah, because he can just. Well, wait, hold on. He doesn't have enough mana. He could just deafening clearing. Maybe I should have just gained four life. Yeah, that would have been smarter, kind of. Okay, bye bye. Oh well. Oh well. That's all for me. I'll see everybody out later. Yuck. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the games. You want to show me some support? Go ahead and like, subscribe. Follow me below on Tuesday and Thursday nights. I go live. I'd love to have you stop by. Also, the Discord below. You want to hop in there? Give me your two cents on this list. You want my two cents on your list? I'm always open to talk about this stuff because I love this stuff. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed. I hope I see you when I'm going live. Otherwise, I'll just see you later.